welcome to PS4. Um, I'm going to be playing Outlast, probably just the first 15 minutes of it, because that's as much as you can record on a PS4 at the moment. Um, but Outlast contains intense violence, gore, graphic or sexual content, strong language. Please enjoy. Yeah, okay. Um, obviously, if you're of a nervous disposition, you may not want to watch any further. Uh, I'm Miles Upshur, apparently an investigative reporter whose ambition is about to earn him an intimate tour of hell on Earth. Always willing to risk digging into the stories no other journalist would dare investigate, he will seek out the dark secret at the heart of Mount Massive Asylum. Stay alive as long as you can. Record everything. You are not a fighter. To navigate the horrors of Mount Massive and expose the truth, your only choices are to run, hide, or die. Okay, cool. Um, Outlast, obviously, is a, um, a survival horror game. Um, now, I haven't been frightened by survival horror games really since Silent Hill and Resident Evil 2 and 3. Uh, not an easy scare. Uh, I got a little bit frightened by The Last of Us recently, but in terms of actual atmosphere and terrifyingness, games haven't done that very well for quite some time, so we'll just see what Outlast can do. I have seen videos of grown men screaming and jumping and behaving like tiny little girlies, to be honest. Uh, so I'm not going to guarantee that's going to happen with me. Uh, but you never know. Um, right, here we go. Oh, lovely. It's about to load in. Long loading time. Makes me a little bit dizzy, that circle. Right. Okay. You can have a look around. That's cool. Uh, okay. So. Radio. Oh, now, surely people have learned by now that it is a very, very, very bad idea. Oh, radio's cut out, that can't be good. Very, very bad idea to visit spooky asylums. I mean, this isn't even a house, this is an asylum. Mount Massive Asylum in the dark on your own. I mean, what possesses people to do this? Are they insane? Even if they're very hard investigative journalists. Okay. There. We'll look around the car. We're doing oh handbrake. You don't do that handbrake, it ruins it. Always press the button when you put it up. Okay thanks. So seventeenth, twenty thirteen from blah 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 systems. You don't know me, I have to be this quick. They might be monitoring. Two weeks of software consultancy at Murkoff Psychiatric Systems facilities in Mount Massive, all sorts of NDAs. I am very much breaking right now, but seriously, beat those guys. Terrible things happen here. I don't understand it. I don't believe half the things I saw. Doctors talking about dream therapy going too deep, finding something that had been waiting for them in the mountain. People are being hurt, and Murkoff is making money. It needs to be exposed. Ooh. Well, batteries, and yeah, this camcorder thing is, I understand, it's the main mechanic here. Yeah, so I can zoom in. He's a press official. Oh, night vision. Okay, hasn't actually told me how to do any of that yet. Alright, here you go. So, typical FPS, I think. Beautiful sky, yeah, lovely sunset. I'm just orientated in your reporter's notebook, you press the touchpad. Containing your notes, there, right, left, direction press, and pick up documents, right press. Okay, I can look around. What's going on in here? How do I bring it? Oh, all leaning around corners. Okay. How do I make it night vision? Still leaning around corners. Crouch. I don't know how to make it night vision. Notes, I don't know how to that. Wide angle, how do I zoom in? Alright, oh, touchpad. Touch the touchpad. No, that being so tight, I can zoom out again with the touchpad. No, let's have a look in here. What can I do it? There's an open door. Oh, I can go. Right. Okay, record everything. Ooh, is something to pick up? Anything? No. The whistleblower. 
Oh, that's the one I'm just looking at. Okay. Come on. Doesn't tell me what I can interact with. Oh, look, Petey's of little baby stuff. Whoa. Right. I'm going in. Recording. There's my batteries. The battery got one out of ten batteries. HD auto. Ah, right. Press down with the right stick. Let's take that out. Can I run? I hope I can run. Can I run? Ah. Cool, okay, that's how I want to run. So I'm going to quickly press uh, and we'll slowly hold and move forward. All right, okay, so I can press and hold to open. That crouch is up square. Duh, I'm sitting in circle. Very slow. Probably by whispering like this, you can't have a thing I'm saying. Raise your camcorder, press R1. Uh, event recorded. Oh, we're making a note. Okay, so I press that to read it. Man, massive asylum. Start feeling sick just looking at this place. Man, massive asylum shut down amid scandal and government secrecy in 1971. Reopened by Murkoff Psychiatric Systems in 2009 under the guise of a charitable organization. Cell phone reception cut off abruptly a mile out. More like a jammer than a last signal. The Murkoff Corporation has a long track record of disguising profit as charity, but never on American soil. What if they thought they could get out of this place is to be big? Might finally be the story that breaks the bastards. Okay. So. It's quite a nice looking game. Good shadows. I like the sky. It's a beautiful sunset there. Textures. Oh look, it's my feet. <laughs> it's my <me> feet. <laughs> oh, that's just freaky. Okay. Uh, yeah, textures are right. That's not a bad looking game at all, really, is it? Two run, hold down that one. Right, thank you. And my speed ups are going on, that's cool. I wonder how long can I run for? I'm out of breath. Uh, ah, these appear to be bomb proof military vehicles, which is never a good sign um, at a mental asylum. Okay, let's, um, let's see. No. I don't seem to want to record any messages about the appearance of massive military vehicles. Uh, surprised by that, personally. Um, that's surely worthy of a investigative reporter's notice. What have we got here? Uh, right, it's locked. Do -do -do -do. Okie dokie. Can I go in? Um, no, it's locked. Sure, I'll come out that way at some point. Let's have a quick recce around the other side. Oh, uh, dokey. Ah, crouch. So obviously I can't get in the front. Let's try in the front in case I make some note. So I don't know how linear this game is actually. Could be very linear. Oh, um, can I press any buttons? Hello, hello, let me in. Any scary zombies in there? Hello. <laughs> right, looks like I have no option but to crouch down and go through the gap. Crouch. Okay, let's, um, Go night vision. Nothing. Okay, reasonable light. All right. With a camcorder active, you can zoom in and out. Oh, right. Okay, I don't know if to use a touch. It's a bit awkward with a touchpad, actually. That's much better. Okay. Right. Oh, that's cool. Look, actually, there's mud kicking up at the bottom as you walk along. Oh, that's really quite nice. I must say, I do find the whole I can see my feet thing a bit weird. Now, it worked in Mirror's Edge, I'm not sure it works here. Now, can we get in? I'm getting scary music. I don't like scary music. 
because it generally means something scary is going to happen. Nope, can't get in. Right, no option but to climb up the rickety looking scaffolding. It's comforting. Discordant. Strings all. Oh, when you get those little knocky things in the background of the music, you know something horrible is going to happen. So the sound track's pretty good. Uh, so press X whilst I'm moving forward. Okay, well, no, let's, let's just jump then, is it? Jump up, press, there we go. Okay. All scratchy strings. So it's effective music, but it's a bit, you know, predictable. Going in the window up here, am I? Okay. Okay. Oh crap, okay. <sighs> That's typical, isn't it? Oh, it's all dark now. Okay. I turn night to dark. Uh, anything worth finding in here? Ten past nine. Right. Okay. So oh, that's closing. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. stretches because do a lot of running so you've got to be warmed up uh, stretch uh, lean okay mm -hmm. what kind of books they got here let me see no can't see the titles interesting what read material they have at psychotically possessed spooky little asylums okay. well crap now what was that uh, that was a naughty sound Ooh, what was that? <laughs> I must say, it's a very clever use of sound. There isn't very much. Ooh, let's take that down. The fact there isn't very much sound means that whenever a sound happens, it's going to be that much more disturbing. Oh, that was good. Watch, just go near the door. My hand comes out, which is past it. I like that. That's little touches. Little touches. Really good fun. Okay, well, I'm going to stop at the front of this door because I've got 13 minutes of recording time here um, and I only get 15 minutes per slot on the PlayStation 4 at the moment. So, uh, first impressions, I mean, it's, it's very early on, so I'm going to have to do another 15 minutes at least on this um, so we can actually get into the mechanics of it and actually be chased by some monsters. Um, but certainly it's a pleasant looking game, it's got some neat little touches, I do like the fact that my feet are showing. Um, but thanks for watching, I hope you've enjoyed it so far and I will get back into this and do another video on this as soon as I can and upload it. Uh, thanks very much for listening, yes, for follow us on all the social media buttons all over the website and the YouTube channel and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.